Hi guys, Paul here from Muscle Car UK and Pilgrim Motorsports. What have we got today? We've got the S-Code Fastback, obviously one of the most iconic cars that Mustang ever built, largely due to Steve McQueen in the film Bullet. You can remember the, the, the famous car chase that we went through San Francisco. We had a manual one, this is an auto, but this is a 390 big block engine, six uh, C6 automatic transmission and one of the most original cars we've ever had. The service history on this car is exceptional. I've never seen the like on any classic car. Um, I'll do, uh, we'll do a piece when we go to my office and I'll show you all the service history on there. It is quite remarkable. But this car has got lots of extras. Obviously being the 390S code, it's got all the GT bits and pieces on it. You can see it's got this most gorgeous paintwork here. The, um, the lime gold metallic finish is really of its age. In 1968, when this color came out, it was really something quite special because you know the metallics were coming into, into form and people were loving having something that was a little bit sort of loud and proud. And this is it. I mean, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I love it. I love it. Of course, it goes with the chrome beautifully. If you look around here and you see the, the chrome of the bumper bar, then you see this, this beautiful green color. It really does look stunning. Obviously, you can see here, you've got, the, you've got the GT front, as you'd expect. So you've got the small fog lights. You've got the pony and the corral here. And it's all in absolutely beautiful condition. All in beautiful condition all the way through. So if we have a look down the side, look how straight this car is. It really is exceptional. All the body panels and everything, all, all, all in absolute perfect. Really good. If we have a look at the wheels, this is quite interesting. These, you don't see many, these were the original wheels that came with the car. So you had steel rims and then you had the GT hubcap on the top with, with the, uh, with the um, trim here. And obviously the white band tyres was, was a thing of its time. But just great, I mean, just beautifully original. You've got the chrome here as well, going around the wheel arches. So it really does look a stunning car. You can see it's, it's got striping, the black stripe coming around, following the lines of the car with the vent here. And then you've got this lovely sort of shark gill look here, which you can switch from um, for, so the air can come in or the air can stay out on this particular model. But it's absolutely beautiful, beautiful car. And uh, as I say, in 1968, this car was built in uh, Munchen when it was um, sold in uh, Massachusetts, Boston. And it spent most of its life there until um, it came across to us uh, some time ago. But as you can see, the back of it's absolutely beautiful. Again, you've got that lovely 67, 68 um, concave back to it. All the must Mustang signs, all in beautiful condition. The lovely GT uh, petrol cap gas filler. It just pops off like that, clicks back on. Chrome's all good. Just a really lovely car. And the thing is also the interior. I'll show you that now. The matching interior is absolutely beautiful. Well guys, sitting in this uh, cabin is something quite special. As you can see, it's got this beautiful contrasting colour which goes fantastic with the outside. It really does make it look like a real 68 car. You can see here it's got the centre console. Lovely, and you've got your C6 gearbox there. You've got a little garage door for putting what seems to be mobile phones now. I think it was packets of fags in this day. And how about this? You don't often see this, guys. Is You've got the old 8-track stereo. It's the original stereo in there with the 8-track. Now, most people won't even know what an 8-track stereo is, but uh, for some of us slightly older guys, um, I don't even know if we can find an 8-track stereo to go in it, but lovely to have the original stuff. The car's fitted with air conditioning, which is, which is lovely. Factory air con. It's got a um, convenience pack, which it, I've never seen before on a car. We have an oil pressure here and amps here, as you can see around by the steering wheel here. Original steering wheel, which is lovely. Again, you can always change it, but always good to keep it. On the S-Codes, obviously the prices are beginning to really increase now, so to keep them as original as possible is obviously ideal. Dashboard's in great shape. Um, all the clocks, the gauges are original. The, um, the door panels are obviously the GT and the deluxe door panels. Now these are original from new. Uh, you know, someone might say, you know, I really would like to put new ones on. You can buy brand new ones, but this car is so original. It really is. You know, if, sitting in here, you really do feel like you're back in 1968. It's not, you know, it's not all bright, shiny and brand new. It can be done and we're quite happy to do that for you. But there's clients out there that just want that original, like it came out of the uh, showroom 
look to a car and this is it the uh, the roof console with the um, navigation maps as well you just press buttons and it's and it's there very rare but but all the headlining is beautiful and all on all the um, the plastic work around behind it which obviously is is, is is contrasting with the seats looks absolutely in tip top condition really good condition and also this car if you has got in the back here it's called a sports deck so basically you can put things in here so if you're going away you can put your you put your um the luggage or whatever you might wish to have in the back here. Uh, you could possibly get a set of golf clubs if that's if that's the way you're inclined. But this also pops up like this, clicks in, and you've got two seats. Now, in fairness, they are relatively small as with all the fastbacks, but um, you can get two small children in the back here quite comfortably. They've obviously got um, seat belts already fitted, which is great. And as you can see, the condition is absolutely beautiful and really does contrast. That contrast there all up in here it really is 1960s. <laughs> this was this button which you can get a bit more air in if you wish. You just slide it backwards and forwards. Interior, little chrome interior lights. Really pretty, pretty little thing. Really great little car, all in top condition. As I say, you wait till you see the service history, but I'll show you underneath the bonnet now and show you what's going on underneath there. Underneath the bonnet, that's where all the fun starts. The big blocks, I love looking at them. I don't know even how they fit them in here, but have a look. Here we've got a 390 big block. Beautiful, beautiful. You know, please note the way it's all finished. It's obviously has been restored at some stage in its life. The engine's been out and all this area around here has all been gloss painted to make it really pop. It really does look beautiful. You know, it's got, it's got the lovely chrome uh, rocker covers on it and air filter. And it obviously points out it's a 390 here, high performance which is beautiful. You've got disc brakes on this, power disc brakes from new. That was a standard on the, on the, uh, the S code. And um, you've also got the air conditioning here, which you can see. It looks like that's been all updated to modern um, piping and uh, modern um, freezing. So it's got that on it as well. You've got your power steering, of course. So you've got all the extras that you might need on a car. And it's the sort of car that you can go and cruise and really enjoy if you're gonna go down the motorways or whether you just want to take it to show, but you pop this bonnet, when, when this car arrives, it has really got presence about it. And, uh, and you won't find one that's got the service history like this. I'm now going to show you the service history. You're going to love this. This is the exciting bit, the real service history. I'm a bit of geek for this sort of thing. I just love seeing the history of the car. It really does paint the whole picture of what this car has been like, where it's been, who's owned it, what sort of people they were. I mean, obviously they might, some of them may have long since gone, bless them. But it just goes to show you, this is a lovely, lovely thing. As you can see, it looks like we're getting something out of a, a pyramid here that's been got dust on it from 2000 years. But this is an original maintenance and lubrication schedule from 1968 that would have been given with the car. And as you can see, it's, it's, an, it's, it's completely original. And the lovely thing behind here is the owner who was um, Mr. McGowan has literally put every single service in here as he's gone along. And you can see it starts from 1968 when it had its first service. And it literally goes, there's 122 of these all the way through. I have never seen, in all my years, seen a service history that's like this. It's incredible. It goes all the way through the years, 69, 70, 71, still 70s there, 71, 71. I mean, this guy was obviously very fastidious in the way he looked after this car. As you can see, we're up to 74 now, 75. All with all the, 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 the oil that is used and everything else. You know, it's just incredible. 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83. We're still going. We're still going with all the, the, the oil services. It's just extraordinary. It really is extraordinary. And I think, obviously, he must have sold the car or maybe it departed this world and uh, the last one was 1998 so for a car from 68 to 98 you got 20 years worth I mean even on a modern car nowadays I don't think you'd get that but he'd kept absolutely everything I mean to show you how this guy was as well we've got all the other bits and pieces for the car which was original so these, these are called protector plates and, and and this little thing would have been used and these cards the owner cards would have been used when they went into its Ford dealership. They would use these in the old days. If anyone remembers those machines where you'd pop your card in and you'd get a Xerox copy, it would flash it backwards and forwards and make it look clicking noise as it did it. Now, 
Occasionally you'll find one of those in a car, but to have two of them, plus the original Ford one as well, is absolutely incredible. I mean, what this car really needs is this history put in a big frame. And if you're gonna buy the car, that frame should go on your garage wall, in my opinion. Some guys don't wanna get that, that, that go too mad on it, but to me, it's just wonderful. I mean, you've got here the 1968 original service spec book. We got here the owner's manual, and it shows in here, just, just to point it out, that there he is there again, and he's had the, this, these are the first few he had done, the first 12,000 miles, so it was all done correctly. As you can see, done by Ford Palmer um, Ford dealership in Massachusetts. So it all been looked after by the main dealer. Again, look at this little thing. I, I know everyone thinks I'm crazy when I say these things, but I just love it. He's shown his gas mileage in here. And it starts off, you know, when he first buys the car and it goes, it goes on and on and how, much, how many gallons it was costing him and, and what it cost him to go through and how many miles he's done. And it just goes on and on and on. How fastidious this guy must have been, I don't know. He must have been an accountant, I'm sure, because it goes on and on and on, showing you how much gas he'd spent and at what mileage and how many miles from that point to that point. I mean, incredible little finds. Um, again, you know, all the original literature that would have come with the car. Um, it's uh, just, just, just showing you what, what your warranty was all about in its day. And um, all the original tyre manual, used to get one of these called a hints for a safer ride and it'd have a pull out of your Ford car and there you go <laughs> send help <laughs> so if you ever got stuck on a freeway uh, there were your safety points and what also was found in this car we're going on to another folder is this is really rare the, these now if you've got a Mustang and you may find them still in yours and it's always good to have a look if you lift up the back seat you'll sometimes find the original build schedule. Now this is for the factory workers, um, in this case in München, where they would get this given to them and certain things here, it would have um, deletes or ads. So they knew that when it was coming down the factory line, they knew they'd had this bit of paper and they had to put that trim in it and it had to have this and it had to have the air con, it had to have the center console, roof console. And these things are, these things are ticked off. And as you can see, we have that one, and we have one which has obviously seen better days, but it's just fantastic to have this. This really does show what this car's all about. Here you can see he came in after his warranty was about to finish, and um, he'd done 3,700 miles in it on the uh, 4th of the 10th. Um, and he, so since he'd had it, he'd done 3,000 miles. And it goes on and on and on. Um, well, obviously, we've got a Marty report with the car as well, which will again show you how original the car is, you can see here 1968, built at Munchen, Mustang Fastback, 390, for, Va for Ventura Carburetta. Lime gold paint, so you've seen that. Ivy gold, decor, bucket seats, which you've seen, the, the twin colors there, absolutely stunning. Built June 18th, 1968, and, and sold into Boston, uh, Boston district. It's got, um, uh, the, the C6 Select Shift Cruise and Matic. It's also your vehicle is ordered with the following options. So obviously we know it's a GT, we know it's got the C6 Auto. It's got locking diff, convenience control panel I showed you, visibility group. It won't have the oval radio tires on it now, but white sidewall tires, spot deck rear seat you've seen. It's got the console, power disc brakes, power steering, air conditioning, AM8 track stereo radio interior decor group, tinted glass, front seat headrests, and a tachometer and trip odometer. So this car's had literally everything done. And if you think, well, you haven't seen many of those cars around, of this particular car, the S-Code, there were 4,823 made in this color. It really was the color, as you can imagine, driving that down along Highway 1 in California with the sun on it, as it looks today, it looks absolutely beautiful. So this car really is something quite special, and. I, I don't think I've ever seen a car that's got that great a history on, certainly on a Mustang. So if you're looking for an original car that's really been looked after and you really, you know, it, it, you dig what I like about it, which is all this history, then come and have a look because it really is one of a kind. And I think uh, anyone that owns this is just going to love it. And why not have a, why not have a, a, a big block Mustang at any rate? Come and have a drive and uh, have some fun. Driving one of these is just absolutely great fun. I put my foot down and it just felt like it go on forever. It's just a continuing power all the way through the range. It's just absolutely stunning, stunning. Uh, power brakes really work.
working well, very efficient. Obviously, they've got discs on the, the 390 um, S code, so you know that you know you want to use the brakes, you can stop very, very quickly and easily. And um, keeps a nice straight line when driving, you know, there's no wobbling about uh, under braking, you're not ver veering from one side to another. So, you know, it drives exceptionally well. I mean, the history on this car, you hopefully would have seen, and you'll just see exactly what the, how this car was looked after. I mean, it's, I've never seen anything like it, history like that. It's just been really costed all its life, and a fantastic, fantastic opportunity to invest in sort of an, uh, one of the, the top end Mustangs, and this obviously is one of the top end. And looking at the figures, how prices of Shelby's and everything else are going up and up and up, and nothing stopping these cars. Everyone's beginning to realise what a fantastic and cool car these really are. The originality of the colours really does make me smile. Yes, you wouldn't get another car made in these colours now, although in fairness you see some of the new Renaults and cars like that have some really leery colours, but I just love the colour contrast of this. It's fabulous, it's a, it's a joyful colour, it makes you smile. You know, and the interior is just, wow, you've got the wood dash, it's just you're literally going back to 1968 when this car came out. You have no doubt that when you're driving this, you really are harking back to all the nostalgia of those sort of fabulous 60 days, or so I'm told. But it really is a lovely car. The Econ's working gorgeous. The whole thing, the, you know, the, um, the roof console just adds to it. You look in the rear view mirror and you see those colors going down towards the, 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 the back of the tailgate. And it all just, it's just, it's just right. It just fits, it just fits the time and it fits the whole scenario inside here. The colors are just great, I love them. And um, I'm sure you will do too.